as a startup founder, you should be able to love solving problems. Sobrang self-confessed perfectionist ko. One more thing I wish I knew when I started the business is that... Hello, lovely human. Welcome back. Today, I will be spilling the tea on the hard truth about creating a startup that no one tells you about. Actually, ito yung mga lessons or mga concepts na I wish I thought I knew when I started the business. But right now, I will be sharing it with you guys because malakas kayo sa akin. And I will just be sharing everything from experience as well. So I hope you enjoy. So akala ng iba, when you start a business, it's just having an idea, getting funds, making it soar, and then you magically land on the covers of magazines. Entrepreneur... Forbes, etc. Hindi po siya ganon. <laughs> it's so far from that. People think that entrepreneurs are just, you know, at home, working at home, um, chilling, lagging nasa computer, just work out whenever they can, uh, utos ng utos, etc. And I will be sharing a lot of those today. So first lesson I wish I knew when I started a business is that delegation is key. Right now, my secret to doing everything is to not do everything. It's a concept na nakuha ko from Marie Forleo. Um, I got it from one of her interviews as well. Na oo nga no, totoo. When I started delegating things to the people around me, trusting them more because I have an amazing team anyway that supports me. That's where I grew. That's where I expanded my horizons. That's where I had time. That's that's where I had more time to think and reevaluate things for the company, how I can improve certain processes, how I create more products, etc. So that's number 1, especially if you can afford it already. Delegation is key. Lesson number two is that problems will never go away. As an entrepreneur, uh, akala ko nun dati, ang problema ko lang is how to have an idea and then how to get funds and how to grow my business. But right now, it still doesn't really go away. Um, there will always be concerns every single day and iba-iba talaga siya ng variations. Iba-iba siya ng difficulty levels. I look at it like a game in entrepreneurship. Like for example, for level 1, level 1 ang difficulty ng mga problema. And then when I reach level 2, it's a different kind of level of difficulty. And that's how I treat it in terms of entrepreneurship. As a startup founder, you should be able to love solving problems. Kailangan mo tong mahalin because every single day, meron at merong dadating na mga problema. Or should I call it concerns? I always joke around with my team na, oh, okay, what's next? What's our next concern for the day? And it's just another day in the office kapag kunwari merong mga concerns, my problems, etc. Hindi na ako, I try my best to not get affected sa mga na kukuha kong concerns kasi these concerns allow me to improve my company. These concerns allow me to improve my services or my products or my business. So, one way or another, <laughs> concerns are good because at least they're there's a room for improvement in the company and in your business. Third thing I wish I knew when I started a business is that I should be defining my own why. The questions about, ano nga ba talagang purpose ng business mo? Ano nga ba talaga ang problema ang sinosolve ng business mo? Why are you even starting out a business? And please don't tell me it's about money kasi totoo naman na nagnenegosyo tayo at kailangan nating magkaroon ng pera. But that's not it. Please go deeper than that. What's your why? Why are you doing this business? Para kanino ba to? Sino ba ang sinaserve mo? And if you answer those questions, you will also be able to define your why. And once you start communicating that with your clients and with your customers, they will resonate with you so, so, so much. And they will support you through and through. You will be gaining your true loyal fans, your true loyal clients, your true loyal customers. Fourth lesson I'd like to share with you is to focus on value over competition. Lagi tong tinatanong sa akin, um, if I really look so much into my competition. But right now kasi, yes, it's okay to look sideways 
to compare yourself, but I always want to compare myself with my past self. So in terms of the company, uh, we would like to evaluate the current situation we are in and then how we can improve on that how can we improve our services how can we improve our products and that's true as well that when i started focusing on giving more value to my clients giving more value to my customers when i started listening to them like really really listening to them that's where we started to grow kasi kapag na feel ng mga clients mo na ah, pinapakinggan pala ako ng kumpanyang to or ah, pinapakinggan pala ako ng small business na to they will feel valued they will feel important because that's true sila naman talaga yung importante sa negosyo mo they are the lifeblood of your business so you have to value them every single time and then focus on things that give value to them ano bang aside from your products ano pa ba yung mapapala nila ano pa ba yung mapapala nila sa iyo so if you can observe as well that across all our brands like for example for Lana PH we don't just sell 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 skincare products we post valuable content na matututo din ang mga clients namin ang customers namin so i am talking about this from experience and i hope you can implement that as well in your business kasi it's about high time that we always give value more than the products we sell kasi ikaw din naman eh as a consumer, you just don't, you just won't go to an Instagram page or a website that keeps on selling you stuff. Discount dito, products jan, benta dito, sale, sale, sale. Na wala kang ibang nakukuhang ibang value. Pwedeng either nakakatawa siyang page or inspiring siya na page or informative siya na page. So, kayo nang bahala mag-define yan for your brand. And that's really important to always give value to your clients. One more thing I wish I knew when I started a business is that I will be working for long hours I cannot imagine I would do. <laughs> Merong mga times na almost wala akong tulog. I have I had zero weekends, sometimes na mi miss ko pa yung mga family gatherings. And I'm not really proud of that, actually. It's not, let's not glorify being busy in this world. Kasi your relationships are very important, your family and friends are very important as well. But ito yung truths na pinagdaanan ko talaga before na halos wala akong masamahang mga outing, wala akong masamahang mga family gathering dahil kailangan kong kumayod, kailangan kong mag-work into the business especially nung kaming dalawa pa lang ni Josh yung kumikilos para sa kumpanya. So, no. <laughs> yes, you have time freedom. Yes, you have time freedom, but I didn't know na sobrang haba pala ng hours ng work when I start a business versus if I am employed. Because when I was employed, um, it's just straight nine hours of shift and then wala na akong iuwing trabaho. I get, ha I get to have time with my family, sleep, and then work again. But no, for entrepreneurship pala, mag-uwi ka ng trabaho for sure. And then, hindi mo na talaga, you can't just give up. You can't just give up kasi <laughs> pinag-ipunan mo to, pinaggagastusan mo to, pinagka-effortan mo to. And sino ba namang gustong mag-fail ang business nila, 'di ba? So you will be you will do your best est. <laughs> you will do your very best to make to keep your business afloat. Next lesson and truth about entrepreneurship is that you won't get it right the first time. Sobrang totoo to and I wish I knew this way back then kasi sobrang self-confessed perfectionist ko and I was so frustrated when the first time I launched this parang oh my gosh ang dami pang palpak, ang dami pang kulang, parang akala ko dati sa checklist ko sobrang wala na akong may encounter na hiccups but no when i launch that's where more problems arise that's where more hiccups arise but that's okay because iteration is key uh ganun talaga when you launch a product or a service it can never be perfect and it's a way to improve as well and 
test your product in the market. Kapag kunwari, feeling mo, oh my gosh, baby ko tong product na to, ang ganda-ganda. Tapos kapag nilaunch mo, ang wala palang bibili. Ang ang dami palang palpak. But that's okay. This is how business works. You just revise and revise and revise. And that's how you improve. And that's how you learn as an entrepreneur as well. And last but not the least, a lesson I really wish I knew when I started the business is that entrepreneurship is a marathon, not a sprint. So I used to always compare myself to others, to other small entrepreneurs na, oh my gosh, buti pa siya, kaka-launch lang niya, tapos nag-blow up na agad siya, samantalang ako, two and a half years na akong lugi dito, tinitiis ko lang, pero bakit hindi pa rin ako nagsusor? Again, comparison is the enemy of happiness. Happiness. So don't ever compare yourself to others. This is your own journey. This is your own entrepreneurship journey and be okay with being a work in progress. Be okay with not achieving your goals in the first year or in the first month. Okay lang yan. It's again, this is always a way to improve. This is always something you can look forward to in the future kasi kunwari, sasabihin mo na, okay, andito pa lang ako, pero e-enjoyin ko tong journey na to papunta doon sa pangarap ko. So, let's just enjoy the journey together. We are all in different phases. We are all in different paths. So, honor your path. Honor where you are right now because you, you really deserve to be there. And itong mga experiences mong to, whether you feel like Hirap na hirap ka ngayon, but in time, you will look back into these situations and tell yourself na, ah, kaya ko pala na-experience to before kasi to prepare myself for this current situation. So, ayun lang, ang dami ko nang sinabi. <laughs> ang dami ko pa dapat gustong i-share, but this video will be super duper long. And I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have more video suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I appreciate you guys so much. Have a great week ahead. And I will see you on the next one.